everyone. I hope you're enjoying your time at the art show in Barron. My name is Anna and right now you're watching a video um, that me and my team did recording for your interviewees, Kendra, Bella, Sarah, and Ryan. We asked them several questions about themselves and about their art and what they do. So, and I hope you enjoy. So when I was first starting out with my art, um, I mostly used it as kind of to take like a mental break from like school and my responsibilities. And um, nowadays I use it just kind of to see what can like come out of my head and it's still really relaxing and yeah. Um, I mostly work with acrylic paintings. I really like how the, um, the bright colors can just like stay on the, the canvas, you know? <laughs> as opposed to like colored pencils, which I do like to use also. Well, uh, because school has been really busy this year, I haven't really had a chance to work on personal pieces, but I've been working mainly on my AP art portfolio, which is all acrylic paintings, and I've been working on my prompt, which is based around the chakras of the body. And they're basically like, they're, it's kind of complicated, but they're basically like energy centers. Motivation has always kind of been a struggle to me, if I'm honest, but I found that it's easy just to like kind of have an idea in your head and then just kind of just start painting and see where it goes. I'm Sarah, I'm 18 and I go to Barron. I do like 2D art, painting and drawing. I create art because um, I'm a very expressive person and I like to like Things I imagine, I like to put on paper. I just like to show other people. So. Uh, Tim Burton, mostly, but also um, Van Gogh and that guy that drew the screaming thing. I, I forgot his name. Edvard Munch. <laughs> <laughs> Not right now. Um, I kind of just like draw things for fun and like keep them to myself, kind of. But I do want to. Uh, the satisfaction I get out of um, making something that looks nice um, because like a lot of artists are weird like the things that they express in their art other people can relate to even though like people can also relate to it and we're all just like kind of weird. I do like lots of art not just like visual art but also um, I like to make music and I want to be like a, a musician. I want to incorporate my visual arts into like music and stuff. So like I want to be able to draw and paint like album covers and album art and stuff like that. Howdy! I'm Kendra Klanecht. I'm a senior at Baron Collier. I'm an AP art and I also run the literary magazine. Uh, mostly digital art. Uh, I make stuff with my Wacom into a tablet. And then I'll, the program that I use is called Paint Tool Sci. Uh, for my AP concentration, I do a lot of work with how influencers online are basically influenced uh, by their social medias, like how uh, like how some people want to be seen as like a god or like want to be idolized, versus how other creators want to kind of like um, how they find discomfort being like dissected by their fandoms. Probably a lot of color, a lot of a uh, neat. Lighting is a technical term. And then after that, it'd be basically just the fact that I just put a bunch of like little Easter eggs in my artwork just to make it more interesting and to get my point across. Yeah, mostly just pacing myself. Um, I, when I was a kid, I used to usually just sit down and have like these eight long stretches of just me drawing and just basically nothing else. Uh, but nowadays I'm just too busy to do that anymore. So it's like, I have to, if I'm doing like a project for AP art, I have to basically just take my time with it and just break it down to like different, like one hour blocks. And uh, it's difficult, but I'm getting a lot better at it. I love to speak, I love to show my own opinions. Um, and so sometimes when there's like nuanced subjects, it's hard for me to kind of convey them in a lot of words, or at least it doesn't give the same impact that I want it to have. So if I'm able to draw it out in like a form of satire or something kind of funny or interesting like that, then I can give her, it like delivers the, like the emotional impact that I want from it while also displaying what I don't like about it or what I think is unique to it. My name is Ryan Moore. I'm from Baron Collier High School. 
and I'm 18 years old, senior, and I will be attending Ringling College of Art and Design in the next fall. Uh, the main reason I create art is to inspire. So when I create photos and I take photos of people or of nature or whatever, animals, it's a way to inspire others of seeing the beauty in the world rather than seeing all the negative. And so when they have this opportunity to see these things, um, they're more likely to see the beauty and be inspired to do the things that they love just as much as I like to do the things I love. I think the person that inspires me the most or the people is just my family and friends. I know people say that, but um, they're, everyone nowadays are having trouble like, oh, I need to get a job that pays well or I need to do these things. But I, having my family and friends motivate me to do things that I love and doing um, just doing any type of work that involves not just getting a good paying job, but also doing things that make you happy in life. Um, that support has really convinced me to do what I want to do, which is take photos of people. I am. Um, I think the best way to symbolize that is when I show the client or show the people the photos I take. Uh, they, when their first reaction, you can see them smile and see how they react to it. That really shows that you're impacting them and it really makes their day different just by seeing the way they react to it. Um, everything nowadays, like I said before, is just constant work hard, get a good education, um, get good grades and doing things so that way you have success in the future, but success isn't meant for that. Success is doing something that you enjoy and making sure that you're able to live a life with that. So bringing out my creative side and taking these photos is allowing me to do what I love and I can be successful with it as long as I put the work in and just go out there and do the things that we're meant to do, which is be creative and do our, what's to our heart. I do. Um, I'm attending Ringling College of Art and Design in fall as a photographer. And then from there, I will hopefully either be freelancing or definitely be working for other companies. So that is a dream job of mine. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, do what you love most, whether it's becoming a doctor, becoming a nurse, um, drawing, or taking photos like I'm doing. Do what you love and uh, you'll be happy in life.